Good evening. Today I will be talking about sniffing attack. I will be touching on a few of the key points such as definition, what exactly is a sniffing attack, the types of sniffing, sniffing tools, and how packet sniffers actually work. Later on in the video, there will be a demonstration on how to carry out a sniffing attack using one of the tools mentioned below. What is sniffing? Sniffing is a process of monitoring and capturing all data packets passing through a given network. It's basically used by two groups of people. The first would be network administrators and attackers. Network administrators use sniffers to monitor and, trouble and troubleshoot network traffic. Whereas the attackers use sniffers to capture data packets which contain confidential information such as users' password, account information, email text, files, and so on. Sniffers can be hardware and software installed in a system. Types of sniffing. There are two types of sniffing, active and passive sniffing. Active sniffing is considered active when it is performed on a switch. The most common method used are ARP spoofing and MAC flooding. ARP spoofing or poisoning is used by the attacker to spoof his IP address and act as a default gateway, thus causing the traffic and network packets to be sent to the attacker. MAC flooding. MAC flooding is when the attacker floods the system or the switch with fake MAC addresses until the switch is unable to process. By doing so, the attacker is able to enter the fail open mode and act as a hub that broadcasts packets to all the ports. The second type of sniffing attack is passive sniffing. It is the process of sniffing through the hub. When a data is sent across the local area network, it is sent to every machine connected to that LAN. Since sniffers operate on a data link layer of the network, the attacker patiently waits for the packet to be sent to their machine and captures it. Sniffing tools. There are several tools used to perform a sniffing attack. The most common tools are Wireshark, TCP Dump, Ethercap, and Bettercap. All these tools will be able to use in both Linux systems and Windows systems. However, Ethercap and Bettercap are already installed within the Linux system. So with all this talk about sniffing attacks and the tools used to perform these attacks, how do packet sniffers work? Packet sniffers work by intercepting network traffic that they can see via a wired or wireless network interface that the packet sniffing software has access to on the host computer. Basically, the sender will send a packet and the sniffer will be able to cap will be able to copy the packet and be able to see it flowing through the network. Now that we know the basics about what a sniffing attack is, let us now see how to perform the actual sniffing attack. Okay, we shall now proceed with a tutorial on how we can perform a sniffing attack on a targeted device within the same local area network. For this tutorial, as you can see on the screen, there are two different virtual machines. On the left side, we have Kali Linux machine, which acts as the attacker. While on the right side, we have the CentOS 7 machine that acts as the victim machine. So the first step of ARP spoofing is to connect to the network you want to attack. In this case, we have to make sure our Kali Linux machine is in the same network as the CentOS machine. Over here on our VirtualBox Manager, we have set up our network preference for our machines to NAT network. Basically, NAT network is a simple way for us to access an external network from another virtual machine. Now that we're done with the connections, we can proceed with the sniffing activity. Now let's start our Ethercap on our Kali machine. Click on Applications, then Sniffing and Spoofing, followed by Ethercap Graphical. The Ethercap main screen should pop up just like this. Click on the Sniff tab over here and select Unified Sniffing. Unified uses a single network device where the sniffing and forwarding happens on the same network port. The reason we pick unified sniffing is because we want to attack on a device that is on the same network. 
Okay, now we have to select a network interface that is currently connected to the network we are attacking. Which in this case, it will be ETH0. Then just click OK. Now that the sniffing has started, we are able to access more advanced menu options as you can see over here. So before we start using any of these tools, we have to identify our target on the network. To find the device we want to attack on the network, first, we can do a simple scan for host by clicking host, then scan for host. Once the scanning is done, click host, then host list. We will now be able to see the resulting host that EtherCap has identified on the network. Now let's move over to the victim's machine and find its IP address to see if it matches with any of the hosts listed on EtherCAP. On the terminal, type in ifconfig and press enter. Now we can find the victim's IP address from here which is 10.0.2.9. Let's see if it matches with any of the hosts listed in EtherCAP. Over here, we can see that this IP matches the IP address of the victim machine. Now it's time to add this IP address to the target list. By doing so, we will be telling EtherCAP that we want to designate this IP address as the one we want to pretend to be, so that we are receiving messages from the router that were meant to be sent to the target. And click on the IP address of the victim machine, then click Add to Target 1. Now click target, followed by target list, to see a list of devices that have been targeted for ARP spoofing. This is the IP that we have added just now. To actually launch an attack on the target, click MITM tab, which is also known as man in the middle, and select ARP poisoning. Click the Sniff Remote Connections checkbox and click OK to begin the sniffing attack. Once this attack has begun, we will now be able to intercept login credentials if the victim enters them into a website that doesn't use HTTPS. Now let's try to intercept a password. Over here on the victim's machine, we decided to use the unsecured version of Unique LVLE portal for the password intercepting test. We can pretty much use this method for any website that doesn't have a good security. Now let's enter a fake login ID and password into and click login. If this method works, we should be able to see the login username and password we typed on the attacker screen. Now let's go back to our Kali machine. Over here, we can see that EtherCAP has successfully ARP poisoned the target and intercepted an HTTP login request the target was sending to an insecure website. Alright, this is pretty much how to perform a simple sniffing attack on a device that runs on the same network. ARP spoofing attacks is another example of why it is so important to pick strong passwords for your networks and limit access to those you trust. You are giving away a lot of trust when you give someone your network password or an Ethernet connection. So remember to pick your passwords carefully and who you share them with. Anywho, that is all from us. Thank you for watching.